tale of Little Wide Awake, written by Sue Burley and narrated by Johnny Deluxe. It was a dark and frosty winter's moon night, and tucked up was I, a snuggly all tight, when I was suddenly awoken by something not spoken, but the eeriest, oddest, and creepiest of sounds somewhere in my room, and it begged to be found. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Peeled back the covers, slowly snuck out of my bed, slipped on my slip slippers. But was it all in my head? Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I tip tapped a tippy toed across my bedroom floor and inched out towards a creak creaking door. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Across the dark and loom looming landing and into the coldest and clammiest bathroom. Soon there I was standing, but nothing was there. Puff puff! It was gone into the gloom. Oh, where was that strange sound coming from? Pitter patter! Pitter patter! Pitter patter! Carefully I crept along the dark, windy landing and down the creak creepy old stair. The noise it was getting, oh, so much louder, but still I could not work out from where. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I slinked and I slunked across a full moonlit hall, and there stood before me a cobwebbed wooden door. So I opened it slowly, inch by inch, and found a dim, dusty cupboard. But just blooms, were there more? Oh, it was dank, it was mouldy, a stink mildew it stunk. But all that was in there was a lot of old junk. Bitter patter, bitter patter, bitter patter. I crept down the hallway, past brollies and wellies, so spooked I was holding my breath. My legs, they were useless, both turning to jellies, and by now I was half scared to death. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Oh, where was that strange noise coming from? So I looked into a scary old Tommy box. There was nothing to scare me in that. Then I looked under the rickety old chairs, even underneath Frankie the cat, who howled and she scowled and bearing teeth growled, so I nearly ran back up the stairs. Peter patter, Peter patter, Peter patter. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. I crept into a damp, icky kitchen with spiders and cobwebs galore, and down in the dark, most darkest of corners, you just never believe what I saw. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. And it stopped me, right there, as still as you like. Quite dead in my tracks, yes, I froze. A teeny and tiny mouse, shiny and bright, who was running along a very hot pipe and kept stopping to blow on his toes. Peter Potter.